don't think there was a specific point where I knew Olivia was the one. Me and Olivia went out one evening. We were both doing a photography project. So we set up a camera on top of a train cart and we sat inside because it was kind of like a bucket. And then as we were kind of sitting there, it was a little cold, so we kind of sit close and then I gave her a first kiss on the cheek and I fell in love. Dear Olivia, I never thought the day would come when I'd get to say I do. Today I am blessed with the gift of marrying the most beautiful and kind girl I've ever met. Before I met you, I had thought the perfect person for me couldn't possibly exist, but I am so glad I was wrong. You accepted me for who I am, and here we are, the day of our wedding. The day I get to fully commit myself to you, my one and only, and the most amazing girlfriend, fiance, and now wife that I could ever ask for. I feel overwhelmingly blessed that I have had the chance to meet you, and I'm thankful for that first chance you gave me despite all my shortcomings and faults. It was clear from the beginning that you were someone truly unique and special. You are someone that I can really connect with. When you look me in the eyes, you see me for who I really am. And when I look into yours, I see you for the caring, funny, and wacky person you really are. You have a wonderfully weird person. <laughs> You've got a wonderfully weird personality that I want to see more of every day. I wish I had more words to describe how insanely beautiful you are. You're a woman of God and I couldn't ask for a better influence on my life. You've taken me out of my many dark places and brought so much light into my life that I can't even begin to describe my gratitude. You helped me break old habits I couldn't conquer alone and started me on the good ones. I know you have my back when I need support and I will always be there to help support you. I'll never leave you alone and you can rely on me to take care of you whenever you need it or just want to be spoiled. I'm sure there will be many trials in our future, but we are strong together. I can't wait until we get our first dog, our first house, and I can't wait to grow old and look back on the life we've lived. We have a whole future ahead of us, and I am overjoyed that I get to spend it with the absolute love of my life. From your future husband, Alex. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> To my best friend, Alex, today marks the beginning of a new journey for both of us, one of which I am so honored to partake so in with you. Right I remember our first conversations in college, our first time making pizza, and how you were with me the first time I was in the studio. All these and more I think back to fondly. I, need a good I want to thank you for walking with me, especially when things are difficult. Thank you for continuing to be patient with me, for telling me I'm beautiful when I don't feel like it. I want you to know how proud of you I am. I've watched you grow the entire time we've known each other. And although it may be hard at times, <laughs> you've never given up and continue to hold your head high. I can honestly say, I hope to become more like you as we grow together. You are virtuous, strong, brave, and kind. I don't know what more I could ask for you in a partner. I love you so much, Alex. I can't wait to spend forever with you, Olivia. Alex and I got engaged at a place called Teapot Mountain. So we got up to the top of the mountain just before sunset. When he got down on one knee, 
I knew it was happening from the moment I first saw him that morning. He's very easy to read, so he was like extra like clingy, a little extra giddy. And, like I caught him staring off at a wall for like two minutes, and I was like, okay, I know something's going on. <laughs> it's like this is it, it's happening. I definitely cried, and then Alex started crying, and then he hugged me, and then he asked me, he's like, wait, did you say yes? I was like, yes, yes, I did. <laughs> Alex, do you take Olivia to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. If you could share your vows. <clears throat> today, I am the happiest man in the world because today I get to marry my best friend and the woman of my dreams. Olivia, you are my everything. I couldn't ask for a better partner. I love you so much and I am overjoyed to call you my wife. <laughs> um, it's not an everyday occurrence to find someone so inexplicably perfect for oneself. I cannot and do not want to imagine a day without you by my side. It is my honor and privilege to declare that you are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> You have a heart for those around you, and you let your faith and your love for Jesus shine through you as you interact with those around you. I have seen it countless times through your service, any kind of event, because you're at all of them, happy to help. You're there and you're in it all. Even if it's something you don't know anything about, you're there to learn and to step into the, the position that they need. You are strong and you are determined. Your goals are never out of reach with the work and determination you put in into achieving them. I look forward to seeing all the new and exciting adventures this life will take you on with Alex. And Alex, I know we haven't had a lot of time to get to know each other, but I look forward to getting to know you more over the coming years as well. It was early into Alex's second year of college, I started hearing a lot about this new girl he really liked. Alex was so excited about the relationship, unlike anything I've ever seen before. And he described dating Olivia as like winning the lottery. Over the past year, and especially over the last month and a half, I've been able to get to know Olivia a lot better. And I think you guys really seem to get each other. Alex has been there for me for times he probably knows and doesn't know about. So I know he'll do the same for you, Olivia. I have no doubt this will be a lasting marriage. Olivia, I love your compassion for others and acceptance of others as well. You are what I've called a fierce friend. You stand firmly beside your friends, committed to seeing the good things in them and doing what you can do to help where things may not be so good. You've challenged me in that. And then Alex came along. Over the times that we've spent, we've talked about values and faith, goals and plans, and I've appreciated your honesty, enthusiasm, and joie de vie. It's a joy for me to witness your public proclamation of love and commitment, and to welcome you, Alex, into our family. May God bless you as you together strive to be Christ followers and demonstrate his love in all you do. Today I stand in front of you, so honored to be your mom, and sad that I'm passing you on. It's been my prayer that you would find someone, though, and love and care for. And hearing how you spoke about Alex, my heart swelled, and I was happy he walked into your life. And to you, Alex, I'm so pleased you see the beauty and strength in Olivia. We are blessed that you are now part of our family. My wish for you both is throughout your life together, you will walk hand in hand, no matter what storms face you, with the Lord as your guide 